Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Episode number 167. Today, we are going to get our first chance at going into a few weekend league games with my new 94 rated player of the month, Neymar. Thank you guys for all of the support on yesterday's episode and actually all of the last like week's episode. The, the numbers are up, so thank you for that. Uh, if you do enjoy today's, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. We're aiming for 2,000 likes on today's episode. If you can make that happen, you'll make my day. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Click the little notification bell so you can become part of the Noti gang. So then, uh, I switched back to the 4 triple two. Because we don't need to play 4-4-2 because we only switched back to that when we owned that Bruno Fernandes for like three minutes right there a few episodes ago. Um, so yeah, now that we've got Renato Sanchez and Alwa back in the team, they're both going to play as CDMs. And we will, of course, try our luck with the 4 triple two once again. Um, starting off with this weekend league, we were, of course, 3-1. and one. We lost our very first game of the league this weekend so um it can only be up from there and uh, we got three wins uh, to to at least get us back up to a half decent number and we come up against this squad right here and it took nine minutes that's what it took for my player of the month neymar to get onto the score sheet for the very first time to open up his account for the road to glory of lasty uh we then push forward here with osimen lots of pace uh, being used there and he just knocks it across neymar gets a second after 21 minutes we find ourselves 2-0 up here things are looking rosy it's looking like it's going quite well uh, and we're probably going to come away with the win and look at that look at that scoop turn and pace from neymar right there we ended up just heel clicking it knocking it towards the back stick i mean event uh, initially i I meant for that one to go into Osimhen. For some reason, it went all the way to the back post, and it was Mbappe there. So, uh, yeah, he ends up scoring a goal. He's been a little bit more involved, I would say, this weekend. Because uh, last weekend, I'm pretty sure from that cam spot, he scored twice. <laughs> he's uh, he's going to come out at the end of this weekend league with, uh, with more goals and assists than he did last time. That is for sure. So, a good weekend for the Frenchman, I would say. Um but we get the victory there. We then come up against this squad. And I don't know. It looks like it could be a pretty difficult match. There's a few meta players in there. That, you know, we're starting to obviously get a few wins under our belt. He's got a golden goat, which means... I mean, it doesn't mean a huge amount. Because I'm pretty sure... We, I mean, I know that we're going to get the golden goat. Probably in, in tomorrow's episode. Uh, as we complete... Once we get our 14th win, we're going to... Uh, I've got the, the 300 rivals or champs win, should I say going to give us an ultimate pack and, and the golden goat tifo so um it doesn't necessarily mean too much when you come up against someone who's got that anymore um they could still be a good player of course that is you know uh, there's still something quite something to achieve 300 wins on uh, on foot champions so uh it's taken us quite a while um uh, anyway we went one nil down because i gave a penalty away but that is a lovely goal in the 45th minute from Neymar, I just turned the defender, and rather than going for the finesse shot, which is what I typically do, I just powered it, and it was the the perfect amount of power, went into the roof of the net, and we are one all at half time. That looks so much better than going into half time one nil down. Better for your motivation levels, anyway. Neymar then heel clicks past the defender, and that's a nice, powerful shot uh, to put me two one up. You know, that's even more goals for the for the Brazilian right now. He's 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 doing well from from when we first got him. So. Uh, I'm a happy boy right now owning this Neymar. I really am. Uh, and then we end up getting a third goal. It is, of course, King Substitute himself, Ryan Kent, uh, getting me that third goal. And then Neymar, look at this. This is just, oh, this should not be allowed. That is pure filth from the Brazilian. Uh, yeah, like, what a, what a goal. Uh, that was Red Ramos that was trying to, to get near him and tackle him as well. So we did quite well against the 91-rated Ramos there. Keeping the ball up in the air and hitting that volley with uh, enough power and accuracy to fly into the back of the net. He then decided he would quit after that one. So uh, we ended up winning that game four goals to one after being one nil down. Uh, and, and getting a little rage quit right towards the end. So that is going to be, what is that, like our fifth win or something? Come on, skip past it, Tom. There we go. There we can see it. Yeah, that's win number five. So, uh, five and one. 
I would I would take that if someone asked me, uh, would you like to go 5-1 and one in your first six games? I'd just say yes. Uh, then we come up against Mbappe and Messi and Osimhen 88 and this Footmas Moses Simon, which is, I know, someone I need to be careful of. Uh, I know that he's super agile. He's kind of like a Ryan Kent, like a really fast, agile player. But five minutes on the clock and we've scored a banger with an Amar once again. Uh, he just got the the correct amount of power on the whippy again and, and it goes in off the bar and I do love a shot that goes in off the bar. Um, we hit the actual bar with Bernardo Silva there and it comes back out but it, it drops to Mbappe. I just flick it over again, clicking in that right right analog stick and aiming a bit with, with some direction and we ended up actually getting ourselves another volleyed goal. And then Neymar just seals the deal. 16 minutes on the clock with 3-0 up. Things are obviously... You know, we're going to come away with a victory in this one, aren't we? It's just kind of clear to see. Uh, and then just displaying that, of course, we do have a uh, another designated free kick taker in Neymar. Um, just like we do with, with Ronald Koeman. Uh, is that he can score them as well. And uh, that's going to put us 4-0 up. Uh, I remember this game now. This guy, <laughs> he didn't want to quit. He did not want to quit. Uh, and he spent the, the rest of the game pretty much just trying to waste as much time as possible. Um, he would get a free kick. There we go. A little bit of shush. Just to try and get him to quit. It was, it was just time wasting, really. You're never going to get back into this game, mate. Um, but hey, if you really desperately want those rival points, I can I can sit here with you as well. I'll just take the victory at the end of it. So he eventually gets his goal. Uh, and I mean, it's fine. He, every time he got a free kick, he would like wait 10 seconds, change the free kick taker, wait 10 seconds, change the free kick taker. And you can do that like four or five times just to waste people's time. He then paused it three times in a row to make sure I waited 30 or 40 seconds each time. So after he did that, I then paused it. And uh, I think he'd had enough after that point. He ended up quitting in the 90th minute. Um, so yeah, I you know, beat him at his own little game, I think there. So that's going to be our sixth win. We go and end up being six and one. First three games for player of the month, Neymar, nine goals and one assist. That's not bad to average a hat-trick a game, is it? <laughs> to be fair, that's quite good. Uh, yeah, I, I I think he's great, um, I, but I think regular Neymar's great. So whether or not there's a, a huge difference, I doubt it. But um, I know that I go into matches with a little bit more confidence now that I know that I can trust this Neymar to do some some good things on the pitch. So 6-1, and one, we go into this game and end up going 1-0 down on the 35th minute to a Hyung min Son goal. This guy was very much uh, drag back central. Um, and with five-star weak foot players like that, you never know when the player is not going to drag back and then take the shot. Or he's going to drag back, cut back to the other foot and then go the other way. So uh, it was definitely a tough one. And they ends up getting through once again here with Son. And I was like, I can't believe I'm 2-0 down. Uh, but hey, it is one of those clinical players that's doing it. So I then went completely full sweat mode again, trying my very best to get back into this game. Uh, I meant to tackle there, but it ended up being a shot from Ryan Kent. Uh, we get one goal back, kind of instantly. Uh, it is David Luiz to score the goal, and we can uh, just carry on. 10 depth, constant pressure, all of this stuff, trying to get back into this game. Neymar knocks it to Kent, knocks it to Mbappe. We're going to be able to get that goal just a couple of minutes after scoring the one with David Luiz. And hey, look at this. You'll never believe this. You won't believe how I win this game. He literally rolls it out to me. To Neymar. I take the strike. I score the goal. We go 3-2 up. And that is how the game is going to end. Um, so from 2-0 down to basically being gifted the winner. Not on purpose, of course. But, you know, it, 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 <laughs> the, the goal came. He, he threw it out incorrectly. And, and, and it, it dropped for me. And I scored it. So that's going to be our seventh win. So 0-1 to 7-1, I'll take that. Uh, and then we come up against Ossiemen once again. Like, not a great side to come up against. I mean, I mean, it's a great side to actually come up against. But not really what you would expect when you are like 7-1 and one and things are going quite well for you. Um, he wasn't as bad of a player as, as his team looked. Whether or not he started his ultimate team kind of late and is just... You know, maybe he started it a couple of weeks ago or something and uh, and, his, and he restarted his fight or something and is just trying to get back into it. It took me 34 minutes to score a goal. Uh, and then Neymar ends up getting through once again here. Just hit him with the... Uh, that's lovely. Like I just hit him with the, the, the... What is it called? The fake Rabona. 
Uh, and that, of course, stops Neymar dead in his tracks. But the defender just sort of lunged one bit further, leaving me to be able to cut back and hit him with the finesse shot. That's going to lead to a 2-0 rage quit there. Um, but not not an easy match, I would say, that one. That was... Uh, I, I, don't, I don't care that he only had one shot off target. He was all right on the ball, you know. And, and all he needed was that one shot, really, to, to go in. And we, it would have been a totally different match. So, uh, so eight and one, obviously really pleased with that now. And then we come up against this. This is a really solid squad. Lots of good players in there that, um, I need to worry about, you know, there's that Felipe Anderson Kubo SBC player was, uh, someone that I really nearly completed, but decided against it in the end. Uh, but we get through and end up scoring our goal with Mbappe there. It's a nice little assist from Neymar uh, and a lovely attack and run from the Frenchman to, to get through in order to score that goal. He's been hitting them quite nicely on the first time and you'll see that as we go through the rest of the weekend league. But what a ball that is from Neymar again. Influential stuff. Uh, and it just comes through. And it is, uh, it's both my cams that are scoring in this match. Bernardo gets, uh, I think, his first goal of the weekend league, actually. He's obviously known for getting great assists and being a great dribbling player. But he doesn't often score that many goals for me. So... Happy to see him come away and, and get a little goal for us there. Um, because, you know, I, I like to see that on his little record. Anyway, I then make what is possibly the dumbest decision I've made all week. So, you know that I've been doing a little bit of trading here, there, and everywhere. The last two or three weeks, I bought this Sanson for 37,000 coins or something. He then rose like 44, 45, and I didn't sell him because I there was a chance, essentially, that... Uh, he was gonna. He scored a goal, and then he was drawing. So Marseille were drawing, but this was their. Their if they would have won, it would have been their fourth game in a row. So his headliner would have got boosted up to an 86 because that's the you know a, a, an upgrade. And then he he scored. So I thought maybe he could even get an 87. Turns out they lost 3-1, and he's down to 22k. So I have completely failed there. We don't have many coins to work with anyway. Um, so, yeah, we've lost even more there on Sanson. That is, that's why I shouldn't trade, really. I've kind of got lucky on the last few purchases. But, um, yeah, like, <laughs> I ended up losing on that one quite heavily. So, I end up, ended up taking the, the lone uh, Mertens again from the SBC one. I don't know why I did the SBC. I just thought I would. Um, it wasn't really worth it, if I'm honest. But we got another five-game loan on Mertens, which actually combines to make a ten-game loan on Mertens because we already had one. Um, so, we know that we've got him and we can use that for a first owner objective or something in the future, uh, which is quite nice. I then came up against this guy and his squad looked really cool because that Acuna card looks awesome. The colours just work. And then he had a lone moments Kaka, someone that of course I needed to be wary of uh, and he ends up getting the ball through there to, to Alexis Sanchez. Uh, luckily, I was able to save that one with Van der Sar. Uh, and this wasn't Again, it was a fairly tough game. We're starting to get to the point now where normally when I hit like plus seven or plus eight form, that's when I start to struggle. Uh, and that is, you know, when I start to match opponents that are really like, I would say, on my level uh, or, or better than my level because they often beat me. But I found myself one nil up in this one. Uh, it was a, a nice goal from Neymar, of course. Uh, Bernardo Silva then gets his way into the box, uh, just sort of cuts it back again. Plays it into the middle and it is Ryan Kent to score the goal. 57 minutes on the clock. We find ourselves 2-0 up in a game where, I mean, I I thought he was going to score. Uh, I thought he should have shot there with uh, with Kaka, to be fair. But um, maybe it would have got AI blocked. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Kaka was a pretty solid player. Probably not as good as some of the other Prime Icon moments that are out there. But uh, still, he's had a ridiculous boost from his, his Prime Icon. So uh, we... I wish one day we could maybe get Kaka in a pack. That would be amazing. Uh, but at 3-0, he decided he'd had enough. We did really, really well to get a 3-0 victory against that guy. Because that game, I think on another day, could have just gone totally different. He was also playing my formation. Uh, and I would say he was a solid player. So, uh, as you can see there, both had eight shots. Just so happened that three of mine went in and none of his did. Um, so, yeah. Nine and one now. What a start that is for last team. We come up against this. Uh, what a squad. Messi, Neymar, and Mbappe. And then a prime icon moments Drogba. As well as a prime SEN. Oh man, we are gonna we're gonna struggle here. I can just feel it. We get through and test the waters with a shot there from Neymar. Good save from his goalkeeper. Uh, and then he pushes through here with his Messi. Somehow keeps the possession. But luckily for us, uh, we were able to save it and it doesn't end up going into the back of the net. 
But then look at this. What a goal. What an absolute finish that is. That is kind of like... That's really messy esque you know. That, that what There's only a certain few players that can do that. Uh, and uh, Leo Messi is, of course, one of them. Um, he pushes through with his Drogba again right here. Uh, manages to get past the goalkeeper. But a, a tiny little touch over the keeper there means that I am able to get back onto the line to defend it. Neymar then wiggles his way into the box. A lovely little bit of attack positioning, actually, from Osimhen, who's done nothing for me in this weekend league. And he finally gets himself a goal. Such a close match, as you can see. Uh, this game is uh, is is going to come out with a victor. It has to. It's the weekend league, right? Um, and then look at this. Oh, my God. How have we blocked that one off the line? Uh, he should have just powered it with Mbappe, shouldn't he? It would have gone in. Uh, he tries it again with Messi off the post this time. I've got to be very careful to make sure I mark him. Uh, and then to stop the Drogba shot, I put a slide tackle in or a, 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 a lunging stand tackle. And that, it just so happens that it gave a penalty away. That penalty flies into the back of the net. I find myself 2-1 down. And now it's all, you know, we've all got to come back and we've got to go for it again to try and get this goal of which we do. 74 minutes on the clock. I've gone all out attack. I've put Ryan Kent on and I've tried to win the match. Um, and here we get an opportunity. Look at this from Neymar. How does that go wide? Honestly, what? We get through again with Neymar. Look at this. Into Kent. Oh, what a block that is and a terrible shot. We can't quite get the rebound. This is all gone Pete Tong. I can't believe we're not going to score this one. We should score this one. What? Everyone is just flying. These are all acrobats that are flying in front of the ball right now. Um, and it just so happens... That I left it on. I, I said to my mates, I was in Discord again when I was playing this. I said, I'm going to leave it on constant pressure, you know. I'm either going to win this match or I'm going to lose this match. I'm not going to extra time or penalties. And it just so happens that I got done right at the end on a counter-attack. After some of those crazy chances that we should have scored. Uh, so there goes the second loss. That is 10-2, and two, I think it is. Yeah, I said 9-1 and one a minute ago. I think it was 10-1, and one, right? Um, but yeah, we're 10-2 and two at the moment, I think. So, that's where we're going to end the episode. I thought I'd end on that loss, uh, then leave it, go back in another time, go for another little session. Uh, but obviously, I'm really pleased with how Neymar's been doing so far. He's got lots of contributions. Osimhen needs to go. Unfortunately, we don't really have any coins to work with to do anything with him. Um, but, uh, you know, to get someone else in. But hey, we, that, is, that is the cost of doing the player amount Neymar SBC. So far, so good for Neymar. He seems absolutely insane. But hey, Neymar is insane on this game, right? Uh, guys, that is going to wrap things up for the episode for today. Ending you on 10-2. and two. Just need to get four more victories in tomorrow's episode. Uh, and I can tell you right now, it's not going to be as easy as it has been today. Uh, smash a thumbs up if you have enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new around here. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And most importantly, now that all is said and done, I hope you guys all have an absolutely wonderful day. I'll catch you tomorrow with another video. Peace.